Yeah, all right. Um, so I'm going to talk about static warm. Um, so assume the following problem. I, um, let's assume you have created a log-free queue, for example, and um, you have probably made um, a structure like entry. Yeah, you have probably made a structure like entry, which um, contains two 64-bit integers on a 64-bit machine. Um, when then you have decided to include a static assert to make sure that your queue is really log free uh, and that code compiles on my thing, but for example, it does not for some reason on my uh, GCC because the static assertion failed and maybe you have decided that you want to share this code with some older machines. So uh, maybe you've been too lazy to um, backport this code. Yeah, maybe you've been too lazy to backport your code. So um, I have come up with this. So um, a simple template with an empty struct um, and a bool, and um, then I specialized the bool for the false case over there. Um, and the false case is marked as deprecated, and then you, um, then I have just created a small macros called static one that just instantiates um, a temporary uh, one if and um, immediately discards an expression. And um, yeah, this works. You can see a warning emitted there, it's a bit noisy. But let's um, look at DTC, which prints nothing. And the uh, solution for that problem is you have to use parentheses. Yeah, so let's try this out on MSBC which prints, again, nothing. And I'm already using parentheses. And the answer for that problem is here. You need to declare a default constructor for some reason. So now this works, but now we have um, you're only, uh, that's only an expression, so the problem is you can't, you can't use uh, that static one, for example, inside a struct. Um, and that's the solution for that problem. Um, yeah, so we use the C preprocessor a little bit more and declare us um, anonymous variable, so we concat two tokens and then we, um, then I con uh, concat the counter with a line, and then I contact I concat that with uh, with a one, and then I'm instantiating an, an anonymous variable of type one if with an um, with the fitting condition, and then I can um, yeah, and then I can just um, use it, and the warning shows up up uh, down there. And you can see the warning is even a little bit more clean on GCC. Um, and even on MSBC, you can see now that um, there's a warning emitted at the right place. So um, in the um, previous version, you couldn't see that uh, uh, where the warning was emitted, just that a warning was emitted, and now we can see where was the variable instantiated. Yeah, so if you want to serve the snippet, you can grab it over that QR code, but I have a word of caution, don't use that as a replacement for static assert, obviously. Um, if you're using static assert to make sure your code doesn't break, then use static assert and not static warn. That's mostly just for code that stays, uh, that stays correct even if the warning um, is evaluated to false or true. So yeah, that's it. 